Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazingly. I hope you all had a great day. And I hope we're all enjoying the gyms being back open because I know I am. I've got my first day back tomorrow. I've got a leg day and we're absolutely smash it to oblivion. I'm gonna try and vlog it. I'm gonna try and show you all my first day back at the gym. It's just something I think would look cool. Um, yeah, so let's get to the straight to the video. I wanna to speak to you guys today. I'm gonna to give you all a few tips on how you can lose fat. Three simple tips, I'm not going to go into too much depth about it. Um, you can ask, you can pop up to me and ask me more about these things. Um, so, let's get into it. First tip for losing weight, decrease your calorie intake. For example, what I mean by that is, if you are eating less calories than you are burning, you are going to lose weight. And if you are eating more calories than you are burning, you are going to gain weight. It's as simple as that. Calories in need to be smaller than your calories out to lose weight. For example, if you are eating 1500 calories a day and you are burning 2000 calories a day, you are going to be in quite a severe calorie deficit, which means you're going to be losing weight, a considerable amount of weight as well. Um, you might not necessarily want to decrease it by that much because that can be unhealthy. Uh, maybe decrease it by 200. 250 calories a day. That way you'll lose weight more slowly, but it will not be as unhealthy and you will be maintaining muscle. That is another thing. Do not decrease your protein intake. Keep that exactly the same. You want to be in two grams of protein for every kilo of your body. That is how you're going to gain muscle. Two, increase your cardio because obviously the more cardio you do, the more calories you're gonna burn. So if you're struggling to burn that stubborn fat around your stomach, your arms, your legs, increase your cardio, um, or your weightlifting, or your steps, anything that is gonna increase burning calories throughout your day. One thing I wanna tell you all now is, you cannot target where you want to lose fat. For example, if you, want, if you say to me, oh, what exercises can I do to lose fat around my abdominal area, around my thighs, I won't be able to help you. I will be able to help you lose fat, but you cannot pick, it is scientifically impossible to pick where you want to lose that fat, um, and it is, you, you just can't do it. Um, your body will pick where it wants to lose that fat from, for example, your abdominal area may be last from where your body wants to pick. So don't be disheartened, if you've been going to the gym for six months, uh, trying to burn fat, and your stomach still looks the same as it did before, but you've lost, lost weight around your shoulders, your arms, your legs. That's just how it is. Keep going because you will eventually lose that fat around your stomach area. Another thing is sort your diet out. <laughs> it's as simple as that as well. If you're eating three takeaways a week, that's not going to benefit you in any way at all. You have got to be willing to sacrifice quite a few things if you want to burn some fat and you want to be in shape. That's just how it is. You can't have the best of both worlds. Um, burning fat is hard. It isn't, it isn't easy. Um, the science behind it is easy. But mentally, it is challenging. It isn't easy. It is not easy mentally. It can be mentally challenging. It can put some strain on your mental health. Um, but you've just got to be strong. You've got to fight through it. That is how you'll get it done. So um, you have got to sacrifice things like chocolate, the takeaways. Treat yourself every week. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. Now, if you find yourself being hungry, because you're eating less, try and introduce more vegetables into your diet. Not only will that fill you up, they are nutritious. They will add a lot of nutrients, min minerals and stuff to your, um, to your diet. Uh, so what vegetables does is, if you look at a graph and you're, you eat, I don't know, 200 grams of chicken, your stomach is that full. If you eat 200 grams of veg, your stomach is that full almost expanding. Your vegetables will fill you up for longer, so increase your vegetable intake. As well, if you're drinking sugary drinks, uh, canned drinks like Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, cut them out. Cut them out. Drinking one fizzy drink a day for an entire year, you will gain 10 pounds of fat. You don't want that. You do not want that, so just cut that out. And replace it with water. What the water will do is boost your metabolism, keep you fuller for longer, 
and it will just it is just good for you all around it will hydrate you give you more energy your skin will be clearer you will burn fat if you increase your water intake as well drinking more water will help you lose water retention that is how it works I know it sounds silly, but the more water you drink, the less water your body is going to hold. One more important thing to help reduce fat, burn fat, feel better in general, get more sleep. I know most of you think four hours of sleep is enough. It's not. You want at least, this is at least six to eight hours of sleep. The body needs rest. Now, that is just a quick short video on how you can lose fat. Uh, the simple ways you can do it. If you have any more questions, feel free to pop up to me on any social media platform and ask me whatever you like. I'm here to answer your questions. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Um, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.